What is up, guys? We're here with some more, uh, yeah, Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshift of Destruction. Yeah, in the last episode, uh, yeah, we kind of moved, uh, west here from the train car we fought Panic in. Uh, we beat, we beat the girl here. Um, the mom doesn't want to duel, but the dad, very, very tough. Uh, we're gonna try him, like, one more time, and then we're just gonna move on, man. <laughs> How about show him where I hear the best? Oh, boy. Okay. This will be my final try. If we can't beat him, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on in the story. Um, what should I go with first turn? Um, maybe. Yeah, let's just let's just say hide one. Most of those monsters have like, as we saw last episode, have like a thousand attack or or like eight hundred at the best. So black painted. Wow. 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 Cyber jar. Okay. Black pin on cyber. I think we can actually take that out, believe it or not. The cyber jar is a sh shadow. And we have some lights in this deck. Uh, so. Uh, I'll just need to draw, like, yeah, Buku. Buku would be pretty big. Uh, there's also the possibility that he tributes it all. So. Oh, he did. Nice. Okay. So he's got an earth monster now. Last time I drew Beckham to deal with this. Uh, what beats Earth, though? I forgot. Uh, no, Force beats Wind. I think Wind. Yeah, I think Wind beats Earth. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, we'll just set Starboy and hope we draw like Beckham to Darkness, I guess. Uh, yeah. What you got here? Prisman. Prisman with 800, so. This guy seems to fancy the Earth Monsters this match. Um, 800. Oh, let's just set uh, Lightning Conjure here. And in the turn. Yeah, Lightning Conjure's pretty good. 750, but in this match, 750? Not getting a horn of light. Oh my god. Uh, that's a pretty powerful Leo guy. My goodness. I did say, <laughs> luckily for me, I have, you know, lost this guy a lot of times, so I did save the forest monster for that, uh, Akimi. But this turn from the Leo gun is gonna hurt, man. Alright, so forest beats the winds. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely gotta draw a beckon, or there's no chance here in this one, so. Man. Big damage. Big hit. Um, I don't think that's gonna do it, no. Uh, for the Fiend. Uh, I do have a Dreams monster, but, you know, I just... Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, <laughs> oh whoops. <laughs> oh, I guess, uh, yeah, I would have needed a Light monster there, my bad. But, I mean, this was already over. I mean, he's got Leo good with 2200 attacks, so... Yeah. <laughs> Even if I played better there at the end, I think we still would have lost this one. Alright, so we can't beat this guy. Uh, I guess, yeah, I guess like I said, I guess we're just gonna hope that, uh, that we can come back on the train a little later and, uh, have a rematch against him. Yep, so he's the only duelist on the train we couldn't beat. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we can't go over here, yeah. So I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just head out. And let's head this way. Oh, Joey, Joey, you're stuck, buddy. Eh, yeah, you, you, you too. All right, uh, well, oh, and everyone's left the car, so I think we're free to go. I'm not a worthwhile opponent for you. Oh, okay. What's up? Uh, oh, uh, what do you guys have to say normally? A giant man, you say? Oh, I guess he's talking about, um, panic, yeah. He disembarked and headed to the Egypt exhibition. Oh, well, thanks for telling us. Okay. Uh, oh, these guys are saying like the same thing. I guess we're free to go now? Yeah, okay, okay. And so now we're here at this part. Um, something I'm wondering. Yeah, our life points are at 68.50. Am I able to go back and heal at this point? What, what happens if I go here? Oh! <laughs> the run chased after me. <laughs> oh, and he, like, pushed that guy? Some kind of weird sound effect there. Well, there goes Panic. Uh, what do you have to say? 
A dark giant man bumped into me and sent me flying. Ow, 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 ow! Owie! He marched into the Egypt exhibition. Oh no. Uh, and he didn't even say sorry. Can you imagine that? What a jerk. Yeah. Um, but more importantly, can I heal? What happens if we go this way? Oh, we can. Okay, okay. Uh, oh wait, can I go this way? I'm just trying to heal me and heal my life points, because obviously story stuff's happening. Oh well, okay, okay. Well, since we can't heal, <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep doing what we've been doing. Uh, so these two saves are from the last episode, so let's go five and six for this episode. Yeah, five and six, because I'm gonna try to duel this guy, obviously. We try to duel everyone we can meet here. Uh, what's up? Uh, yeah, you want to duel? This is where I lost. I have no more anti cards. Aww, oh, Sag. Very sad, very sad. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go back home at this point, so I guess we're just gonna have to wing it, guys. Okay, do you guys want to duel? How can you ask me to duel at a time like this? <laughs> That's a good dialogue. No, I don't want to duel. You should find someone else. Okay. Joey, oh, what's over here? Oh, we can. Oh, we can leave and go home and heal. Good, good to know in that case. Uh, so this place is now marked on your map. Uh, Egypt Exhibition. Okay, well, with that being done, I did not, I, 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 I'm glad I kept looking for a way to, uh, yeah, to come back, so. Okay, and I definitely want to do this before the next part of the game, so. Yeah, your life points have been restored. Would you like to save? Yes. Sweet. Okay, okay. Very good. Very good. And so with that, we can now lead back to the world map. Yeah, and now we can go to the Egypt Exhibition. Very good. So so in order to go home and heal after the train car, uh, what you want to do is, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, follow like I did up the stairs here and head left. Because that apparently leads to the world map. Obviously, Panic went this way to the right. So, uh, let's, uh, follow him and see what happens there. Uh, oh, there's people here. Uh, anybody want to do? Here sleeps the power of the ancient pharaohs. I know that ancient power will make me stronger. I will become a guardian of darkness. Oh. As long as the powers give me power. You want to do, buddy? I'm the most worthy of being a guardian of darkness. As such, this place is the most suitable location for my abilities. There's no way I can lose. All right, let's do it, buddy. Let's do it. Okay. And hopefully this guy's power level will be, you know, kind of around normal. Like the little girl in the, uh, the last episode. I mean, she was, you know, her, her power level, that's passable. That's passable. But the last guy at the train car, man, he was like, Shh. Is basically like facing someone with an Egyptian god name. <laughs> you know. Okay, you can't walk eight, so we got out of water, we're good. Okay. So, Star Boy, you do it. In case there's a trap. Okay, okay. Sweet. Alright, I guess I'll end my turn. What you got? Yeah, you got nothing, son. You got nothing. Alright, so let's try to just attack the Star Boy first. Ooh, a melting red shadow. But now we know you've got 700 defense and that you're a fiend. So, with that being said, Furious Seeking. Tidal Wave Attack. Nice. Alright. Your move. Okay, defense mode. Yeah, and I don't mind dueling any, any extra guys between here and Panic. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, mainly because, you know, now we know we can go back home and heal anytime. So... Nothing really to worry about. Let's set this. And let's go with Kino Thomas Soul. Fireball attack. Alright, man, my turn. What you got? You got nothing. Alright. I'm guessing another pyro monster? Uh, let's stick with Kino Thomas Soul just in case. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. Alright, so it's very seeking. I mean, it's Melting Red Shadow. <laughs> I have Furious Seeking. Uh, let's tribute this. Uh, for... Meteor Dragon. Meteor Flare. Alright. Now we're, we're drawing Meteor Dragon pretty consistently. Uh, Buku. Aw, oh, beat me by 50. Aw. Oh, okay. Oh, let's 
this uh, attack with Meteor Drake. Looks like I closed the page on your book. Uh, no tribute monster, so we'll just go with our highest attack, Phantom 1. Dark Magic Attack. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe he should use a uh, Shadow Spell, yeah. We'll save Dark Magic Attack for all the Spellcaster attacks in this game. Yeah. Although Phantom 1 is a Spellcaster, so maybe it does know Dark Magic Attack. I don't know. Ah, oh, Frog the Jam. Yeah, good to see it. Good to see it. Ah, uh, what memories. All those except Frog the Jam cards. Ah. Uh, oh, capacity increased by three. Sweet. Uh, anything good? Kobro Gashi. Ah, uh, we've got a few of that, but, you know, the capacity by three is nice there. I, I, I lost, but, but, I, I lost, but, but how? Uh, well, you just did, buddy. Well, where can I win? Ah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, what's our life points at? Eh, not too bad. Okay, well, uh, I'll save before fighting this guy, just in the interest of time. But uh, if we need to go back in here, we can. Uh, so five and six this time, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi. You want to do? Did it? Oh, I guess that's my character talking. Did a dark big guy come this way? Uh, well, yes. Oh, he ran down the stairs here. Oh, okay. Um, the big man took off down the stairs here. Do you want to duel? No, I don't duel. You should find someone else. Oh, okay, okay. Fair enough. Um, well, we are, we just saved, so let's do it down the stairs. Oh, oh okay, there we go. How could this have happened? How could my enormous chin have lost? And we're even veiled in darkness down here. This is impossible. Oh, and he collapsed. Oh my god. Wow. Looks like he's beginning to panic. Oh, and I like how each character has to move uh, one at a time here. Ah. You. You've come for the Millennium Necklace? Who in the world are you, man? is yours. Just like that? Thanks. It's my duty to protect the Millennium Item. For I am a Millennium Guardian. You must prove yourself to me in a new... Ah, uh, okay, okay. Not gonna be that easy. To see if you're worthy of a Millennium Item, you will only get the Millennium Necklace if you can pass my challenge. Oh, and just like that, the duel begins. Okay, we should be luck, guys. Definitely gonna need it. My turn. Ooh, listen to that music. Alright. Okay, not too bad of a start. We've got Ginnan, Curtain. You know what? Let's play this. Normally, I never even play this, but let's see what he's working with here. Uh, so that is a dream. Necromancer of the Time Lord. Now, if we've got a fiend that actually beats it, uh, the one thing we can learn, though, is that, uh, yeah, we can actually defend here with Ginnon, but he won't he won't know what our face down is, so that's kind of good for us, I guess. We got us some whim. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, now he's in attack mode, too, with only 800. Okay, so if I get a... A fiend monster, I could beat this guy. Or something with 800. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll set down Hino Thomas Soul. And. Yeah. Yeah, from there we'll end the turn. Let's hope he does not tribute summon. Black Pendant. That's not good. Yeah, that powers it up. Wow, it's a 1300. Okay. Oh, a Ginnon of his own. See, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We can take that. Um, okay. Let's go with uh, Thunder Kid. Let's go. Thunder Shot. All right. So we take out a Ginnon before it can switch to defense. And I'll end the turn, buddy. So all I need is a Fiend. We've got plenty of Fiends in this deck, too. Oh, he's, this guy plays a lot of power ups. Wow. Lucky Trinkets. Huh. Attack for you. Ooh, I've got a shadow monster for you, buddy. Okay. Okay, okay, so there's... There's Zari Gun. Yeah, you are light. Sweet. Okay, Curtain. 
it's time to draw the curtain on your lucky trinket. Alright. Alright, I feel like we can do this. Oh yeah, mystical sheep. Okay, another dream monster. I think I will, yeah. Just so... There's not so much damage on board. It gives us more time to draw a theme. Man, this Necromancer has been around since turn one. That's crazy. That's crazy. A lot of dream monsters from this guy, though, so... Yeah. Um... this face down and we'll end the turn looks like this will be our last turn so hmm. a moon okay so a shadow can meet that as well so it looks like shadows and fiends are what you need in this door um, yeah unfortunately we were pretty unlucky honestly and didn't draw any but uh we've got plenty in this deck like the uh, like Cyber Commander and stuff. Yeah, we just got kind of unlucky as far as the draws. And I guess you could say he got lucky as far as the power-ups. So, um, Little Chimera. I don't know. Let's see what he says after he beats us here. Though. Okay, and we lost. No! Okay, right, he's not gonna say anything. <laughs> he's just gonna teleport us to our house. Okay, well, in that case, we'll load. Uh, I think I was on five, right? I think so. Yeah, so let's see if I've beaten this guy. Yes, I have. Okay, okay. So, yeah, all we have to do is talk to this guy. Cutscene time again. Okay, and I'm not really gonna repeat the dialogue. One thing I am gonna do during this cutscene, though, is get a drink, so. Pretty nice that we get to see it twice. <laughs> what happens if I say no? No. Spare me your lies. Oh, okay. A liar isn't worthy of the Millennium Necklace. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. my challenge to obtain its mystical revelation. Oh, okay. I don't think he said that last time, but uh, let's go with Tomo's arse. Maybe, maybe he said that because I said no. Sure. Alright, alright. More epic music. Alright, so we're going to try this guy a couple of times in this episode, and hopefully we can make it past him. Definitely going to save this dream monster, um, as well as the shadow. We'll start with Conjure. 750 is pretty solid. Maybe I should start with Morphing Jar, but I don't know. Nice, 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 nice. That's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, let's do it, boys and girls. Let's tribute for Meteor Dragon, shall we? Pretty, pretty lucky start for us. We got to go first. We got a solid defense monster. That's, that's how easy the game can be, honestly. Like... If we had that kind of luck, you know, this kind of hand and this kind of luck against that one guy on the train, we could have beat him no problem. But, you know, this, this is kind of basically like the best you can hope for, you know what I mean? The best starting hand you can hope for, so. Ooh, good defense, good defense. You know, uh, yeah, his defense has 900 too, so maybe we should just start attacking this guy's, yeah, first card with Meteor Dragon. Unless it's face up like this, you know. Uh, this is a light, so I do have a shadow and beckon. Wow, wow. Okay, I'll go with the super effective type matchup though. And we'll attack directly for 1,800. Meteor Family. Nice. All right. Yeah, we're in the driver's seat now. I mean, he could always have something that's good against Earth, though, so you gotta be careful. Meteor Family. All right. And let's 
let's see what else we drew here. Doma, yeah, yeah. Look how stacked this hand is. Doma, Leo Gun, Meteor Dragon, Beckon. Like, dude, if we had this this hand against the guy, the last guy on the train, we would have beat him no problem, bro. No problem. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you can get what you need, you know. So. Ah, defending, huh? Well, I think that's going to be curtains for you. So, I'll activate Beck in the Darkness. Yep. And then we'll just tribute this for Leogan. Yeah, that was... That was really one-sided in the uh, rematch, so... And that also went very quickly, so... <laughs> Man, that feels good. Alright, capacity increased by 3. 400 domino, that's quite a lot. Lucky trinket. A peculiar grinning being with numerous tiny legs and wings. I guess it does have 800 defense. And it is light, so... Although it appears to be frail, it's protected by a holy power. Okay, we'll probably add this in, in between, uh... Yeah, after this dialogue here. You are still clumsy and unrefined. But deep within you, I sense a faint glimmer of hope. You have proven yourself. Take this. It is yours. Oh. Oh, did he, did he just fling that at us? <sighs> What's this, Vlad? Uh, what do you mean, uh, Yugi? Oh my god. What's going on? It's Yami Yugi. Is this a vision of the future? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Just kidding. That image I just saw. <gasps> hmm? Vlad, you saw it too, didn't you? Yes. Chef the Dark Being will destroy the world. Aw, Yugi. What Ishizu said really was true. Yeah, unfortunately it looks like it because, you know, the powers of the Millennium Items, they, they're they pretty... Yeah, they're, you know, it's canonically established that they're basically absolute, so this doesn't look good. And my other self, Mo Hitori no Boku. But, but why? Hmm. You have to hurry. Back to Ishizu, right? If you don't, there's going to be a world of trouble. Oh, you mean collecting all the items. Yeah, 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 and uh, restoring the Egyptian god. Yeah, 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 we have to hurry. Let's go back and see Ishizu right away. Right, because this was her Millennium Item in the anime, so I wonder what's going to happen when we go see her. Okay. Well, I guess we're uh, free to go. Um... Let's just save here. And I wonder what happens if we like try to talk to this guy now that we're done. I, uh, hopefully he won't do this again, but uh, yeah, I mean, you never know. So state six, okay. He probably won't though. What's up? We have secretly guarded over the Millennium Items. Millennium Items are believed to attract each other. That's true, that's true. The Millennium Necklace will lead you to the next one. Along with the Millennium Items, you will face the Millennium Guardians. Ah, you must overcome the challenges we present. Hmm. We have secretly guarded over the Millennium Items. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Panic? Uh, oh, dot dot dot. He, he's just, he's just out cold, folks. He's out cold. Uh... Okay, we can't duel Panic. Can we duel this guy again? You are only allowed to duel me once. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, your majesty. Did you not have to leave immediately? Oh, okay. <laughs> See ya. Oh, what's this? Cutscene time. <laughs> so the merry band of losers. <laughs> Kaiba, always so base, finally have a clue about what's really going on. Ishizu visited my big bro. She wanted him to get the Egyptian cat cards back. Ah, uh, Mokuba, be quiet. Shut up, Mokuba. 
the titleized champion, and the strongest cards, the king of games, the best duelist, only the most powerful duelist, is worthy of these two things, blood. And that duelist is me, Santa freaking Kaiba. I will recover the Egyptian gods quick and easy. <laughs> I bet you guys are happy that my big bro's gonna help you out, huh? Mokuba, shut up! Well, what is it, Seto? I have no intention of teaming up with these clowns. Especially that pathetic third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate dick, Joey Wheeler. Big bro. Listen up, you fools. A real duelist doesn't need help from a bunch of cheerleaders. <laughs> all of you, sh all you should count on is your own strength. <laughs> you guys are so weak that none of you can survive alone. And you expect me to team up with you losers? Don't make me laugh. We're out of here. Let's go, Mokuba. <laughs> See ya. Dot, dot, dot. Interesting. Okay. What's up? Oh. Uh, yeah. You want a duel, buddy? No way. I'm not a duelist. I came here for the exhibition. Ah, more of an artiste. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can go home and save and heal. Uh, yeah. So let's go this way. Yeah, I know the game told us to, uh, you know, report directly to Ashizu, but uh, if she lets us pass, I'm gonna just go. Yeah, okay, good. So I definitely want to go and heal my life points because right now we're at uh, uh, 7350. Okay. Well, guys, yeah, we can make a hard save here, and uh, yeah, it's actually been a while since we ended a recording session on a hard save, so yeah. I'm just going to save here, but in the next episode, we will come back down here to the clock tower and see what Ishizu has to say now that we have her item, the Millennium Necklace. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. Appreciate you guys watching these, and I'll see you all next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Worship of Destruction. Bye-bye.